In this video, we are going to demonstrate how easy it is to configure a basic network using Netgear Insight. Insight works by using the concept of location. A location constitutes a grouping of devices within a single physical location and within a single local area network. This means that we need to create a location first and then add devices to it. To do this, after opening the app, click on All Locations and then on Create New Network Location. We are going to name this location Lab. And then add a device admin password. The device admin password will replace the default local password for all devices that are added to this inside location, as the notice tells us. Make sure that the country and time zones are correct, and then click on Next. Again, remember that the network password is the location password, and it applies to all devices that will be added to our location. The first device that we are going to add to our location is the PoE-capable switch GC510PP. We are going to connect port 1 of the switch to our uplink, that in this case is our firewall. Power up the switch and wait for it to boot completely. Once it's up and running, on the app, click on the plus sign on the top right. Insight has several ways to add devices to our Insight ecosystem. We could scan the network for the switch if we had wireless access on the LAN. So instead, we are going to use the serial number and then click on Go. Insight can manage multiple locations. After the device is found, we must specify the network location that we want to add these devices to. A friendly name is easier to remember than a model number, so we will change the name to Switch A and click on Next. The switch may reboot more than once depending on its firmware version, type of configuration we set, etc. The process can take a few minutes. Be patient and do not disconnect power to the switch during the process. You can click on View Devices to see the status of the configuration progress. There, our switch is connected and operational. We also need a wireless network for our business, so we are going to add a wireless access point to our infrastructure. For convenience, we are going to use a WAC510, which can be powered using PoE. We will plug it into port 2 of switch A and wait for it to boot up. To add the AP to our location, click on the plus icon on the top right in the app. Of the several ways that we can use to add devices to the inside ecosystem at this time, we are going to select Scan QR Code. Flip the access point upside down and point the camera to the QR code. When the QR code is detected, we are directed to select the network location where we want to place this AP. In this case, our location is Lab. To make it easy to remember, we can rename it. We are going to name this AP APA and then click on Next. Insight knows that there are no wireless networks set up on this location, so we are directed to set one up now. Make sure to pay attention to the rules of SSID setup. No spaces at the beginning or end and no slashes or periods. We will name it Insight Test A and enter a password for it. This will be the login information for our secure wireless network.
verify that the wireless region is correct and click on Next. The AP will reboot and then receive the configuration file with its name and the wireless setup. Depending on firmware versions and configurations, this may take a few minutes. Be patient and do not reboot or disconnect the access point during the process. Click View Devices to monitor the configuration progress. Device rebooting, configuration in progress, finally connected. Our basic infrastructure is all set. We have our switch and our business Wi-Fi configured, so let's connect to it. On the phone settings, find the SSID that we just created. Inside test A and select it. Enter the password that we set for it and join it. There it is. Now we are connected to our own local area network. Let's add our ReadyNAS now. Make sure that the ReadyNAS is connected to the network and that it has booted completely. Back on the app, we click on the plus icon on the top right to add a device. Because we are now connected to our Wi-Fi, we can scan the network, which is another convenient way to add devices with Netgear Insight. Click on Scan Network at the bottom of the page. The scanner will return the host name of our readiness. Check the box to the right of it and click on Next. As it's normal, select the network location where you want to place this readiness. You will be prompted for the admin password of the ReadyNAS. This will allow Insight to enable and join the ReadyNAS to ReadyCloud using our Insight account. If there are issues with the password on the ReadyNAS and Insight, there are many documents written on the subject. Check them out in our support community. We like the host name, so we are going to leave it as it is and click on Next. And that's it. The ReadyNAS does not require to reboot for it to be joined to Insight. It will just show us connected. That is how easy it is to set up our basic network. We have our switch, wireless network, and our readiness in our inside account. We can manage them from anywhere. For this and other topics, please visit us at community.netgear.com.